Hello, I am Bishop Earl Boyer of the Diocese of Lansing. During this month of November, we are especially called to pray for the dead. Why would we do this? In fact, praying for the dead is a practice found in the earliest Christian liturgies and encouraged by the early fathers of the church. Now, obviously, this kind of prayer presumes a belief in a life after death. So please join me for seven brief reflections on why we Catholics engage in this practice. Apart from Jesus and Mary, all the rest of us are sinners. It is the one great thing besides being in the image of God that all of us human beings have in common. As Paul says, all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. But sin is a complex reality. For example, there are very serious sins which cut us off from God. These are called mortal or deadly sins because if we rest in them without repentance and forgiveness, we will go to hell. There are also lesser sins called venial, which weaken grace's power in our lives. Both of these kinds of acts we call sinful. Now, imagine you toss a stone into a pool of water. That stone is the sin we commit. That stone then creates ripples which, without barriers of any kind, would simply continue on and on. These are the effects of sin, effects which alter who we are, which affect our neighbor, and our world. When we receive forgiveness from our sins, usually in the sacrament of confession, the sins are wiped away and actually forgotten by God. However, the effects of those sins are not so easily erased as anyone who has been hurt by another can attest. Even being forgiven does not necessarily even eliminate the bad habits we have developed over time which could lead us to sin again. So, the effects, these ripples, also need to be addressed. This problem helps us understand why we pray for the dead. We do make atonement for our sins and their effects by our prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, by our corporal and spiritual works of mercy, by repentance and living a life in conformity with the sacraments, and by love of God, and love of neighbor all in this life. Most likely our work is not completed by the time we die. Sisters and brothers, what if we die before we have had those venial sins forgiven, before we have had a chance to make better ripples in our life and world, before we are cleansed of the evils we have committed and their effects? Are we ready to be admitted into the presence of the Holy One? Martyrs who give up their lives pay such a price that they do enter the presence of God. But the rest of us will need some tender, loving care to get us ready for the heavenly banquet. <laughs>